46,000. And we're good. Alright, there it is. Basically, what happened was today's my birthday, right? And so, happy birthday to me. That's number nine. I'm just playing. I was supposed to get the package of the 225 pairs, right? Apparently they tried to deliver it early in the morning, which USPS never does. So that's strange. And then I checked tracking and it basically said, we tried to deliver it, but now it's at the post office. So come and pick it up. I have to drive all the way 25 minutes to the nearest post office where they're keeping it. So hopefully they have all them and nobody took $45,000, $46,000 worth of shoes. So let's go. All right, guys, so I just got here. Um, I don't know if I can film that much since I'm in like a big ass post office, as you can see, but here are, there are literally, there's literally like 28 boxes. So I have to make a couple of trips. Um, so this is gonna be bad, but let's do it. All right, holy shit. Literally the whole entire car is packed This literally isn't even all the pairs. There's still another 10 packages in here. There's probably like 20. I gotta go get another 10 packages. All right, there we go. That's the first trip. Now, oh, we gotta go back and do another trip, get the rest. All right, here's a second trip and we got him so let's head home so basically that's that now I guess we got to take them all out you guys know the whole deal and then you guys will get the breakdown that's it get those wipes Cause like the thing is a bit where dusty right here. It's just like dust right here. It's 225 pairs, I believe, of obsidian one psych pine green ones. You guys are probably thinking I'm probably just gonna do the talk right here with the boxes, but I'm gonna take it an extra step and put them all here. Literally, this is the only reason. I'll tell you guys the reason. I honestly just wanna take the extra step with everything I do because there are so many people that follow me. Majority of you guys, I love all you guys. Like, trust me, whether you hate or you show support, I love all you guys, but there's a lot of people who always just try and like catch little things like, if I just make a video like that, they're gonna say it's empty boxes. So I'm gonna take that precaution and literally just show you guys that they're all full. So I'm gonna lay them out just to prove to you guys that I'm actually investing $46,000 into shoes and they're not just a bunch of empty boxes. So let's get to laying them out. Guys, we're not even halfway done and the shoes have already literally, they're almost halfway of the room. All right guys, so also new merch by the way. I just put up new colors of merch. We have light pink, maroon, red, and then we have this one, the light blue. This one goes crazy. This is probably my favorite one now, but all of them are pretty much great quality. 
and it fits true to size if you're wondering. All right, so before I start my whole talk with all of these, I'm gonna give away two pairs of pine green ones. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe, comment down below your size, and once we hit 6,000 likes, I'm gonna choose two people to get a pair of these. Now let's get started for the talk. We gotta talk about why in the world would I spend a bunch of money for some pine greens I guess we're just gonna have to talk about it. So I'm gonna set up my camera. Basically, literally a week ago, I saw all these pairs for sale and I know three months ago, I made a video saying, be very cautious with investing into pine green ones and basically just stick to grade school. All these are grade school, by the way. But for grade school, I think size six and seven obviously have potential. About three months later, size six and seven went up to 300, but size three and a half to five kind of stayed at the same range. I got all these for an average of 205. So basically the size difference is $100 cheaper than the six and sevens. When I saw them for sale a week ago, I was like, these have no choice but to hit 300 as well, right? Six and seven are gonna be at 300, right? They're obviously gonna go up in price higher than the smaller sizes, but either way, they're gonna go up to 300. And so I took a good look at the shoe. Keep in mind, there's a lot of these out there. So if you're seeing this video, please don't rush and do it because there's a lot of people who have them, so you could probably get a deal. But this is a fall shoe, right? There's one month left to summer, and it's gonna be fall and then winter. And it makes me think, this has a bread one color blocking. So it's just green. And then there's red right there. And so it makes me think, during Christmas, once everybody's getting gifts and everything, how is a Jordan one like this not gonna skyrocket in price? And this is not to say go and invest into them. Obviously I'm not right with everything, but this is personally for me, this is my investment. So maybe just look at it as entertainment watch me either take a win or a loss. I'm not taking a loss, but it could stay at the same price. So that's another thing is it's green. So you might think a lot of people might not wear it, but it's honestly not that hard to match these with things. And the, and the quality is not bad at all. It's pretty good. So that's essentially my reasoning. If you can find pairs on OfferUp or Facebook for, honestly, try and spend about 190. I paid 205 for bulk just because it's more convenient for me. I'm honestly hoping in the next four months they hit 300, which I'm very sure they will, but if they don't, look, don't do this investment, don't listen to me. Just take everything I say at your own risk, but I personally think they're gonna hit 300 in four months. And then if you do 300 times 225, that's $67,500. I spent $46,000. So that gives me a profit of $21,500. So like I was saying, $21,500 in about four months is what I'm expecting these to go basically, basically my return. Um, look, it might happen, it might not happen, but I'm, I just keep reassured, like telling you guys this just so choose wisely what you put your money into, but the 21,000 or so profit should probably come around winter and then I'll move all of it. So these are pretty much just gonna be in the storage unit. We can't forget the storage unit costs either. The storage unit costs for four months, it comes up to about 420 for the four months. So you subtract that from 21,500, it's basically only 21,000 if we're putting all the costs in together. That's basically it. Honestly, I guess we're just gonna have to see where these go. Like I said, it's a hold, it's not a quick flip, like majority of the stuff I do. I guess to end this video off, this took me over three hours to put together. This is it. If you enjoyed this video, obviously please give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna go get my book, go cop it. It's for quick flips. You can learn how to make passive income every single month flipping shoes, quick flips, not holds. So go check that out at sneakerinvest.com on sale and I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace.